we mean oh we mean me 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 do I do I have to start that over? Uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I thought that would be good. <laughs>Welcome back, everyone, to another week of Real Estate Trends with your host, Philip Rispoli from MyDigitalListing.com and the Taberski Real Estate Team. It was another great week to be alive and be in the real estate market, especially if you're Jennifer and Philip on the Taberski Real Estate Team. What a week and what a couple of months. Last week, we finally were able to release to the market our intent to open a new office in Greenville, South Carolina, and boy, are we happy to do that. The response from our customers is overwhelmingly supportive, and the ongoing conversations it has opened up is absolutely game-changing. We knew from experience that affordability was a problem, but we didn't realize it was such a dinner table conversation till we came out with it in the open last week. Our customers and friends have really took this opportunity to open up to us and confirm more than ever that our move to open a second office in the area of Greenville is 100% the right direction. It also confirmed what we suspected, and that is we're going to be able to help hundreds of people over the next few years find more affordable housing out of state. And we are so very excited to help them on that journey. To that end, we want all of you to know we will be documenting costs since we are putting our money where our mouth is. And we are also building a house from start to finish in the up and coming town of Fountain Inn. Our permitting has just been approved, and they are breaking ground shortly. Exciting times ahead for sure. We will be documenting our costs, the processes, the time frames, the whole experience, including all the insurance costs for homes, automobiles, so everyone here in Southwest Florida will have an accurate idea of the entire process start to finish. We will make all this available online to our customers every step of the way. We plan a trip in early December with our videographer to shoot all the cities. Did you know that? No. Did you know we were going to shoot all the cities? Holy crap, he had no idea. Not only that, we were going to check all the key points of interest. Our goal is to make those videos and information available on all our YouTube sites and our new web pages early in 2024 for those interested in making decisions while the high selling season is still in full swing in Southwest Florida. In addition, we will be reporting on the local cities we will be marketing in, discussing the zip codes and the housing market trends so that everyone here in Southwest Florida can be updated on both local Southwest Florida housing news as well as the local Greenville, South Carolina housing news as well. Last, we will syndicate with iHeartRadio in Greenville to be on the air in South Carolina with our own radio show there in 2024 as well. What also works well is the busy seasons. Our Southwest Florida busy season is January through April, and the Greenville busy season is usually May through August. That works great for our program and staffing. Jennifer and I are confident everyone will enjoy the variety once we get it going and get in the groove over the next few months. Okay, let's take a look at the local housing market. In the 33955 for the week of November 8th, we have a median list price of 479000 and a median new list price of $399,000. Our price per square foot came in at $274 a square foot, and average days on the market continues to rise at 102. Median days on the market is now at 67, and inventory continues to rise. We still have 45% of the current inventory being reduced to meet customer needs. Market action is still slightly in the seller zone in this zip code. In the 33950, we have a median list price of $639,000, and the median price of new listings came in at $549,000. Our price per square foot shot up to $349 per square foot, and average days on the market came down this week to 96 days. Median days on the market reduced as well to 67. 49% of the inventory is being reduced to meet customer needs, and market action is clearly in the buyer zone. We did four open houses last weekend, and we had good results. Better results on Sunday. We had one new sale for $850,000 cash over the weekend and a few new listings over the last week. Customers are definitely being more active, and what we can say is there remains cash on the sidelines ready to do business. And so, we are selling homes, 
and there are buyers. As you can see, there is lots of movement going on in the market. Here at the Tversky Real Estate Team and MyDigitalListing.com, we are all in. Our marketing has never been stronger. Our presence has never been more diverse as we enter the fourth quarter of 2023 and the first quarter of 2024. As you can imagine, we are mindful of the challenges our customers and local businesses are facing as we navigate the weeks and months ahead. We trust some of our content you find informative, some of it funny, and some of it make you reflect on how good life can be. One thing you can always count on is we will always be truthful in just who we are. Like I say each week, the twists and turns in this market are many, but one thing is a sure bet. The Tversky Real Estate Team and MyDigitalListing.com is going to be there in the end, bringing you the news, bringing you the marketing, and bringing the buyers, and bringing the sales. So from our heart to yours, make sure you contact Jennifer at 941-229-0111 or go to MyDigitalListing.com or MyHeritageLanding.com. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you next week. We really love you. Have yourself a great day.